Well, let's start off with the breath uh, first. Uh, the market is not doing a whole lot. Pretty much unexpected lines is how trade has begun uh, for the session. Let's also bring up, uh, all right, 450 is uh, the advanced decline ratio. 4 is to 1 really favoring uh, the advances at this point in time. We'll run you through uh, the mid-cap stocks. Uh, Apollo Hospitals is clearly the top performer on low volumes on that. Uh, we'll talk about that in just a bit, but first let's go across uh, to Romil Shetty, who's head telecom at KPMG, to talk about uh, the Bharti Zain deal. Romil, thanks very much for speaking with us. What's your sense, uh, really, of the deal and the way the market has uh, reacted to the stock? Uh, it's down now about a percent and a half. Yeah, okay. Uh, I'm not an expert on the market. How no, the but market really, broad conclusion of the deal from a long-term perspective. Yeah, so as far as as far as far uh, Bharti is concerned, and I think uh, it's, it's a step in the right direction to get into Africa, I think that's the place where the next round of growth is going to happen. Uh, India is becoming more and more difficult, in the, at least in the coming couple of years. Uh, it, 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 India is always long-term attractive, but in the next couple of years, because of the stiff competition, it's difficult. Africa is underpenetrated, has lesser competition. Uh, you know, most, most, most countries have only two or three operators there. So... Uh, and the the the, uh, the extent of ARPUs, for example, in in uh, Africa is, is between about eight to twelve dollars in in most countries, which is uh, you know nearly twice as much as India. So hence, it's it's a it's a very attractive uh, uh, place for Bharti to get into, uh, and and they've been trying it for the last you know they've been trying it for the last couple of years. And I think to, it, the most important thing to look here is whether they can actually get a global uh, they can actually get a footprint instead of going country by country. Uh, so if they can acquire Zane's assets, that means in 12 or 13 countries, whatever they are proposing for, they would actually get in the kitty, and, and that makes sense. So, you know, I would say it's actually a step in the right direction. Sure. That's another voice uh, confirming that it's a long-term uh, story that uh, Bharti is playing out. Uh, thanks, Romal. Really appreciate your time uh, for joining, giving us uh, a quick perspective on the deal. 311, the stock is recovering from its day's lows. Uh, let's see whether it can break into the green. But yes, a thumbs up uh, from a long-term perspective given their emerging market focus for growth. So that's Bharti Airtel for you. We were running through uh, the mid-cap gainers this morning. Quickly bring up some stocks for you on that side. We have seen the market breadth being supportive. You have a Cadillac Healthcare, which is up 5%, and AstraZeneca, which is up about 4%. Uh, the likes of uh, Gujarat Fluorochemicals as well as the Simplex Casting.